Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division encounter. situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job there to land the knee straight to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Right hand punch. These guys throwing early. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Whoa! He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Posture's up, knee on belly. He's raining down Brown and He has to move, or the fight is gonna get stopped. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it, John. Stop it. Man, look how you guys eat elbows like this. I know you try not to, but there is no pad, no glove, no nothing on those elbows. He is all beat up with these elbows. I know he's fighting valiantly, but now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Now he's okay. Now he's gonna escape. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's hurt really bad. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Trying to stay in this fight. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee knee and then try to land a big to the head. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, well, the strike lands there, so he did hit the desired target, but it almost looked like slow motion to me. Yeah, he's moving in slow motion. He's throwing everything at his opponent, and he couldn't get him out of there. Now it's just a matter of trying to zero. Oh, faints upstairs and lands crushed. The they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect, and this fight may be stopped very soon. Oh, now going to the 
judo thrown. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump or he can chase submission. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. 15 seconds. Seconds winding down in the opening round. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round two here. So a huge win by TKO for him here tonight, a seminal moment in his UFC career, and that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 47 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO Jumbo. Well, can you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO.